Hi, I'm Will Weber, uh, instructor for your Math 142 class. I want to uh, go through the syllabus with you so you know what to expect from me and, and uh, you'll know what I'm expecting from you. So this is Math 142, Pre-Calculus 2. Um, this is the fall of 2015. I expect that you have gotten a C or better in Math 141. Now I want to point out, actually this is important enough that I want to look you in the eye and point it out. Although the prerequisite for the class is a C or better in Math 141, I expect that you have actually got all of Math 141 in every of prerequisite course for that understood, right? You, you can't just get by with the C. It's what gets you into the class, but to get out, you really got to understand everything. A uh, quick little story here. I um, am also a, um, besides being an instructor, I'm also a licensed um, electrical administrator um, for any electrical company. I can be their administrator. And uh, to pass the test to become an administrator, I had to get a 70% uh, or better on three different tests. Now, two of the tests I aced really well, and one of the tests I got a 71%, so I passed. However, when we do an electrical job and um, then the inspector comes and looks at it, the inspector doesn't look at it and say, oh, you got 70% of it right, you pass. It's like, no, you got one thing wrong, fix it. So, you know, the 70% gets you in, but you really need everything to continue. So, anyway, there's the prerequisite. I will, of course, help as much as I can to fill in any of your holes that you, you know, things that you, you don't quite understand from the prerequisite course. For. Just ask. That's what I'm here for. To answer questions. Okay. Now, of course, you have uh, gotten here already. So this is the course ID. Uh, so you should know this already. And it's uh, enrollment key 142. Uh, let's see here. I am Dr. William T. Weber. Here, please feel free to call me Will. My office is in LDC 221. Although this is an online class, you are more than welcome to um, to come to see my, you know, come to my office to get questions answered. I, you know, sometimes I think online students don't think they can actually come to my physical office, uh, but you can. Um, LDC 221. I do have an online office. The the link is right here. You just click on that, and actually, that's linked uh, to the to the WAMAP webpage as well, right up at the top under the announcements. Uh, you can click on that. We will use that both to, to, you can access me, you know, when I'm in my office, I have it usually turned on. If I don't have it turned on, uh, you can give me a quick call or send me an email, say, hey, Will, can you get into your online office and we'll uh, chat and do some math? It's like, okay. Uh, that's, I just forget to go sometimes, so just give me a call and we'll get in there and, uh, and it's pretty easy. Um, we'll use that online office as well for the Friday live sessions, uh, which is described a little bit below. I'll get to that. Keep looking at the camera as if it were on, so I decided, well, what the heck, I'll turn it on. Um, yeah, some other information here. My office hours uh, daily are 12.30 to 1.20. My schedule this quarter is I got an 8.15 class, so I'm done at 9.30. Uh, and then I got a 1.30 class. So really, pretty much all the morning, I'm around. Um, I have to list official time. That's the official time. Um, but if you want to stop by earlier, uh, fine. If my door's open, come on in. Um, if the door's closed and it's earlier in the morning, from like 10.30 to, sorry, let's say from 9.30 to 12.30, I may be recording videos. So I don't necessarily want to be interrupted. But Anyway, if the door is open, please come in. Um, if you want to make an appointment, by all means, make an appointment. Um, but, uh, phone number, yeah, 360-383-3566. Uh, you give me a call, I'm in my office, uh, I'll answer. If not, leave a voicemail and I'll get back to you. Uh, Another good way to get in touch with me is, of course, the email wweber at wacom.cdc.edu. In a WAMAP class like this, you also have the option of just messaging me from within WAMAP. That actually works really well because I'm checking it all the time. Uh, anyway, the text. 
pre-calculus mathematics uh, for calculus, this is the book. Um, it is the seventh edition. Uh, it's the same book that you used for Math 141 if you took Math 141 from us. Um, anyway, we will cover chapters 6, 5, 7, and 8 in that order. Um, the bulk of this course is trigonometry. It'll say about eight weeks of trig and then uh, a couple weeks of other stuff. So, uh, the, and the other stuff is polar coordinates and parametric equations. Um, parametric equations, I think, are one of the most important things you'll learn uh, at Wacom. Uh, They're exceedingly useful when trying to describe the world and the way things move within it. Uh, so anyway, there's that. Outcomes. We have some things that we expect that uh, you'll have learned by the time you get out of here, out of this class. There's the list of the outcomes. I'm not going to read through them all, but you know, if you're studying for a quiz or test or something and you want some inspiration as to what topics I might be emphasizing, this is a really good list. Um, all right, now I'm going to give you a grade and, and it's going to be based on something. So here's some things that we're going to do. Um, most of this class is done in a way that you can work by yourself, um, not quite at your own pace. I mean, within a week, you got you got a week to get a week's worth of stuff done. Some people like to get it all done early in the week, uh, uh, but there's a quiz at the end of every week, and that can't be taken early. It can't be taken late. So you got to be you know staying with the class at least on a weekly basis. But you got some flexibility within the week. Um, there are some discussions that I'll describe in a bit. Um, those are done as you run into them. Uh, if you have questions, uh, you know, not everyone has to be there at the same time. You know, just discussion forums. But there is one thing that I'm going to try to do this quarter, which is um, live sessions. Every Friday morning, I'm going to be in my online office and invite as many uh, or all, as many or all of you as possible to uh, join as well. If everyone's there, it'll, it'll work just fine. Um, come to the online office, click on that link, um, and there will be some activity that I will have planned that I think works better with a bunch of people all at the same time rather than a discussion group where, you know, you might take several days to get through all the different points anyway. So um, I want to use uh, the 815 to 920 slot. Um, every Friday morning to do something live. I will also use a little bit of that time to answer some questions that might not have been answered fully in the uh, in the discussion groups, uh, the, the, the homework discussions, as I'll describe here below. Um, anyway, um, come on in. We'll, we'll do something um, all together live at 8.15. If you can't be there for whatever reason, you got a class schedule or something else, I will record all those sessions and um, then you can watch them afterwards. Uh, you won't get quite the benefit of being there live, but I think you'll still be able to uh, to get most of the benefit out of it because you'll you'll be able to see and hear what what the discussions were and what the activity was. Um, so anyway, um, every Friday from eight fifteen to nine twenty, go to my online office and fun things will happen. All right, I got to give you a grade on something. Um, so here we go. Here's the things I'm going to grade you on the homework. Uh, there's two types of homework. Within WAMAP, there's, um, you, you'll find these practice problems um, bed, embedded within the content of each thing. You'll, you'll have something to read, you'll have a video to watch, and then there'll be some practice problems. These practice problems are graded um, automatically by WAMAP. Um, they are not part of your grade, is that right? Uh, right, it will not be part of your grade. Um, also, there's problems assigned out of the book, and, and here's the problems uh, that are assigned out of the textbook. Um, each section, so section 6.1, this is sequence notation for the problems I'd like you to do. Now, 2n plus 1, um, think of n as an integer. So 0, 1, minus 1, 2, minus 2, 3, minus 3, those are integers. A half, not an integer, right? 3 quarters, not an integer. Pi, right out it's not an integer so take you know take all the integers and multiply them by two and add one so all the integers multiplied by two would be all the even integers right zero two four and the negatives as well and then if you add one to all those evens then you're at the odds so this is a short my shorthand way of saying uh, do the odds i don't know if it's shorter but it's more mathematical anyway so two n plus one is the odds um 
There's a 4n plus 1 in here. 4n plus 1 would be 1 more than the multiples of 4. So 1, 5, 9 is every other odd. Uh, sometimes I think you can stop after a certain point. So this one just says, you know, do the ones that are less than 99, do the ones that are less than 73, and so on. So each of those. These are suggested problems out of the book. Um, you don't necessarily have to do all of them, but get it sense that you can do them. You know, do a few, and if you're struggling, do a few more. If you're doing really well with them, you know, skip ahead to some of the other problems in the section and try some of those. Um, make sure you can do those problems. If you have questions either on these problems from the book or the uh, practice problems within WAMAP, then go to the discussion forum, which I, again, I'll discuss a little more, more below. But there's a discussion forum, and uh, post your questions on there. Um, or go to the discussion forum and see if you can answer somebody's questions if you're, if you're feeling good about stuff. I will be answering questions as well, but if you can answer questions, that's actually that's actually good for you. So use those discussion forums uh, that I'll describe here uh, momentarily uh, to help with your homework, to help with other people's homework. Uh, help each other out. I'll be doing my best to help you all too. Okay. So anyway, homework is not part of your grade, but it's what you have to do to get the grade. If you don't do any homework, I doubt you'll be able to do very well on any of the quizzes or the tests. So do the homework. Discussions. All right. These, this is part of your grade. There are 12 discussion forums in this course. I believe that number is wrong. I think there's actually only 11. Let me change it right now. 11 discussion forums. There's one for each week. All right. Um, Oh, there are 12, because there's the one for week zero. There's um, a discussion form in, for introductions right at the beginning of class in the Getting Started section. Uh, introduce yourself, and then every week there's a homework discussion. So you are required every week to contribute to a discussion, to, to the week's, that week's discussion. And by contribute, I mean ask a question, answer a question. Um, sometimes you don't have any questions and all the questions other people have asked are, seem to be already done. Well, then you might want to just, you know, take one of the problems you've worked, you've done and said, hey, here's how you might do this problem, you know, and, and show your, show the solution for it. Um, sometimes people find some websites that they've found particularly useful in, in, in helping and, and uh, post a link. Any of those things is a good substantial contribution to the, um, to the discussion and, and what are any of the points for that week. Right? I think I just assigned 10 points each week for, you know, did you contribute, did you not contribute um, to the discussion. So just get on the discussion each week and, and see what you can do. Um, it's great to, for asking questions. It's, uh, it's great for answering questions. So that is the total of the discussions is 10% of your grade. Okay. Now, quizzes. Every week there is a quiz. So as you're working through the content of each week, uh, down at the bottom of each week there will be um, a quiz. It usually appears, I believe they always appear on Wednesday, um, and you have until the end of the week. And the end of the week is Sunday night. I, I view the weeks as starting Monday morning and ending Sunday night. So you'll have up until 11.59 uh, p.m. on Sunday to get um, your quiz done. So there's no real time limit once you start. You can leave, you know, go to it, come back, um, just be done by Sunday night. Okay? Um, and make sure that you don't cut it too close because if WAMAP thinks it's 11.59, then time's up, even if your clock doesn't think so. Okay? Um, you will be allowed two late passes uh, throughout the quarter. So there are, there's times when maybe you don't quite make the deadline, apply the late pass, finish it. The late pass is only good for 24 hours, so if you, you know, that only gets you to Monday. So anyway, uh, the quizzes are, uh, what, what do I say here? Um, the lowest quiz is dropped of all the quizzes, um, and then the quizzes are 30% of your grade. All right. 